we're so proud to be hosting this event uh, and to have worked with the Falkland Islands government, particularly with Michael Betts, uh, to produce uh, the, the wonderful exhibition, uh, which many of you will have had the chance to see down in our atrium and which our visitors will be able to enjoy over the next few weeks. The exhibition is, is called The Falklands Past and Present and it, it really is what it says on the tin. So there are a number of, uh, of profiles included uh, where we're, we're talking about different aspects of, of, I don't know, I guess our Falkland story. And so it's all been put together to, to give an impression of how the islands were, of, of the Falklands War and how we've moved on since, which of course is such an important part of this year's uh, events really for us. So I think, no, it's, it's brilliant. It is incredibly important, as has just been said, that, that people do understand all aspects of the Falklands War and that 40 years on, and oh my goodness, how is it even possibly 40 years on, but that 40 years on, that story isn't forgotten. Um, and that our younger people who are, are coming through uh, in the UK or wherever it may be in the world, remember the Falklands and have an understanding of the sacrifices that were made for a very just and worthy cause. So my book is uh, based on the story of my uncle. Uh, my uncle was a private in uh, Two Power in the Parachute Regiment. Um, he was 17 when he joined the Parachute Regiment and he was 19 when he was killed uh, in the Falklands. So he was killed on Wireless Ridge um, in the final hours of the war. And I think when I was growing up, so I was seven years old uh, during the Falklands conflict. Uh, and I always remember uh, hearing the news when my family heard the news that my uncle had died. Um, and then growing up, I was always aware of the, of, of the, of the effect that that had had upon my family. Um, and so I always wanted to try to understand better uh, what had happened during the conflict uh, and what the experience of it had been like. And that's what led me to start uh, researching uh, the book uh, that eventually became Our Boys. We are in a much better place these days, thanks entirely to those sacrifices that were made by the brave men and women who, who came uh, to restore our freedom in 1982. My parents met during the war because my dad was part of the task force and my mum was a prisoner at Goose Green so being able to come in to an event that honours the stories of normal people during the war with a military connection is really nice. My uncle who was killed was my dad's youngest brother. So my, my dad and I came to the islands in, uh, uh, in October. We um, uh, were shown around by Patrick Watts and Patrick helped us to build a cairn uh, to my uncle up on Wireless Ridge at the spot uh, where we think my uncle was killed. I would thank again the National Army Museum for hosting this, for helping us to, to tell our story and the story of, uh, of our veterans and everybody who experienced 1982. You know, the, the National Army Museum, I think, has been superb to, to put this on with us. And a lot of people will be coming through here. We'll learn a little bit more about the Falklands past and present.